got to get some dog food for my dog. All right. I got a groom this morning, and then afternoon I'm I'm working on the shop this afternoon, so I'll be there all all day. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. See ya. Hey, everybody. It is 20 after 8 in the morning. It is it is a Wednesday. Uh, I'm just uh, I've been up for quite a while. I got my friend his lunch ready and. Um, had coffee with him, sent him off to work. I opened up my dog shop and got it ready for the day. And I'm just running to the store to get my dog some dog food. <laughs> it's a busy day. I have some grooming to do this morning. I'm going to actually work on the man shop without man friend. Another exciting thing that's happening around our property is the apples are ready. Some of them are turning red. this one on the way out just now it was sticking out in front of my car and I was like well if you say so time to try them this is the first apple that I've harvested here I'm actually coming past the, the garage man friend's truck is there we're getting it tuned up before he leaves for Ontario he's going to Ontario next week couple weddings and I'm gonna pick up the rest of our stuff okay I got the dog food I love that little store so it's just a little store open all year round close to our house right by the gas station with a beautiful view I'd show you but I can't because I'm driving I love it now back home I've got a groom and work on the shop somewhere in there every hour or so have a coffee. <laughs> I started drinking coffee, I think I was nine years old because I was helping out on the farm where I grew up and I wanted to be like the adults and have coffee break when they were working. I started working on the farm really young, just helping out. And I just loved it, right? I don't think there was ever, even that first sip, I don't think I was like, ew. Like it wasn't something I had to grow accustomed to. I loved it right from the start. <laughs> One of my favorite spots here on the Cabot Trail is just looking over at our mountains that are in our backyard. You can see our shop now. <laughs> a little bit of the shop. Really probably we'll see it a lot more when the leaves fall. Speaking of fall, oh my goodness you guys, I saw the first man friend and I noticed it this morning the first of the leaves to turn color I can't even I don't even know what to expect for fall around here but I can't I don't even want to try to imagine how beautiful it'll be when all the leaves change color around here I don't even know I don't even know and I love that our road is easy to miss <laughs> Not for us because we know it's there, but for people going by, it's just like one of those roads that you don't even see until the last minute. There's not even a sign for it on the one side, but it's nice that it's a little bit tucked in, hidden, you know?
grooming and then I've got to put my tool belt on. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't mess things up for my guy. I don't know why every time I see an eagle, I feel the need to record it. <laughs> it's like the first time every single time. They're so amazing. And that eagle is Joey. Joey that I go visit on my kayak over at his nest. Joey that perches up over here near our dock. I just love that bird. Okay. I'm on man friend duty. He is at work right now. I just uh, finished grooming. I'm going to briefly have a quick cup of coffee, my little break. I hope it's all right with my boss that I have a break between jobs. Yesterday, I did not record anything, but you'll be happy to know that I learned how to use the nail gun, that I ran the saw couple times to trim out some of this wall <laughs> and I helped man friend put up the first sheets of plywood it's sheeting time and then I also helped him on the front he wanted to just kind of have the front done but I gave up on him part way through that because he was getting real cranky so I went inside and made hot dogs because I wasn't sure if he was cranky because he was hungry or cranky because I was doing a really crappy job. <laughs> Come to find out it was because he was hangry. He told me before he left for work what he wanted me to do while he was gone if I could and I'm determined to do this even though I'm worried I'm going to mess up. I'll show you what he wants me to do. People that build houses are already going to know all this stuff. Like, you don't have to watch any of this, but maybe give me some advice. <laughs> okay. So, last night, yesterday, I went around like he told me to, and I took the level, and I had to go down all the joices and make a line. You can see the line that I made here. So, I had to level everything, level to the joist and make a line so that I can go around with the nail gun and put four nails in the line and just go zip 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 all the way around <laughs> and the nail gun is heavy and awkward but I'm gonna do my best he told me which nail sizes to use and I've got the extension cord ready I just have to get the nail gun set up the table and hopefully have that done before he gets home from work. I don't know, it's kind of a race against time here. <laughs> but he said that's a big thing to get out of his way. So if I can do that for him, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to do it. It's kind of one of those jobs I wouldn't mind doing. Just the same thing all the time. <laughs> it's easy and I just really don't want to mess up. It's starting to look like a building now, isn't it? It's amazing. got some door there's like a door yet we've got a whole garage kit here so there's pieces for the door we got windows coming another door another window he's got to cut that out no windows over here because the wind actually flies in from that side so we just left that as wall <laughs> and then out front here is where our cabin will be so it will kind of it'll butt up to this little piece of foundation here that we put up. Man friend was smart and had, we got to anchor the barbecue in here. So he already put like an anchor post thingy in there. And the barbecue will sit here and our cabin will come up to here. So there will be a little walkway here 
we may cover it I'm not sure what the plan is but our cabin will go out there down the hill a bit it's hard to tell with all the greenery here but there is a hill there <laughs> if I can zoom in enough to show you but that's the post you see that orange dot there's a post and the other post was here somewhere right here and the other one is down there you just can't see it I don't think can't really see it but anyway you get the idea and that's the squirrel mountain we love her all right I got to finish my coffee and get to work I need this thing because this is what I got to plug the nail gun into look at me go hey I'm a little nervous that I'm gonna mess up <laughs> Another wall done. Sweet. Did it I did what he said to do I didn't break the nail gun I didn't jam it I did four nails in each line some of them had five nails definitely no less than four and one area I messed up over here <laughs> I'll show you I heard it all the way down I figured out the noise and I heard it all <laughs> oopsies I missed it by a mile. A minor detail. But we didn't have these cut because I could start putting these in. And now that I know how to use the nail gun, I can hammer it in there. Fun. Wait till you see me use a saw. Builder Beth. Maybe that should be my channel name. Everybody keeps telling me I should change it from Boring Bethany. I don't want to change it. I like Boring Bethany. <laughs> 
I feel more humble with that name, Boring Bethany. That way nobody has any expectations. <laughs> that puts me low on the expectation scale. Because, you know, it is, some people would consider all this very boring. Not me. All right, I think I deserve a coffee break after that. That's fun. Full star. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. Morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo. Give up everything that I Expected love was found. You're the rose in a garden, and it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in mid August, and I've come out here to say. Storm, a lightning strike as we hold each other.